My name is Chelsea Rockman, and I'm one of the PhD students on this cruise. I'm in a program with San Diego State and UC Davis, and I'm studying what I like to call the other plastic problem, which is the chemical side. So plastics, when they're in the ocean, they're very attracted to something called persistent organic pollutants, which are pesticides and fuel residues and other toxins in the ocean. They accumulate these pollutants at really high concentrations. Now the problem with this is, is if an organism ingests plastic, which they're known to do, that pollutant is more attracted to the tissue. So that pollutant will go from the plastic to the tissue of the animal. Now that animal has concentrated the toxin, and if these animals are eaten by other organisms higher up the food chain, it magnifies up the food chain. So what we eat when we go to the grocery store is often an organism that's a predator or higher on the food chain. And so if these pollutants are magnifying up the food chain, by the time we put that big piece of tuna on our plate, it has those magnified concentrations of the persistent organic pollutants. So POPs are things that we use in agricultural practices like fungicides and pesticides and also things that we use in industrial uses like flame retardants and, and much of our um, fuels that we use, gasoline, has persistent organic pollutants that come from it. Um, and they're called persistent because they stay in the water column. They're not very soluble, so they leach onto the solid things in the water like the organisms, sediments, or now plastic, rather than dissolving out into the water.